Hi, Nick Gogan, North State Law, where you safeguard your professional license so you can get back to business. Uh, today, we're going to go into a legal update. This is a very important case in the administrative law uh, area, and professional license defense does fall underneath that umbrella of uh, administrative law. So this case was decided at the U.S. Supreme Court back in June, on June 28th of this year, 2024, um, and it essentially overturned the Chevron Doctrine. Uh, Chevron Doctrine was a U.S. Supreme Court case uh, back in 1984, and it dealt with uh, the oil company Chevron uh, and some regulations, government regulations that were put in place. Chevron had appealed that multiple times and then eventually uh, made its way up to the Supreme Court. That Chevron Doctrine, so to speak, uh, basically said that uh, judges must get what's called deference to state agencies uh, also licensing boards, um, and then also federal agencies, obviously. Um, if there was any sort of ambiguity uh, in the statutes, uh, assuming that a statute uh, or rule was not clear, then the agency that drafted the statute or came up with the, uh, came up with the rule, so to speak, um, they were the best person under the Chevron Doctrine to interpret that. So that took everything out of a judge's hands because a judge's job is to interpret the law. That's the whole point. So when Chevron came about, when, it had, when there was an administrative case that came in front of a judge on appeal, the judge had to do first step. Is this, is this clear? If it's not, then well, is this rule or statute any sort of ambiguous? If it is, well, I got to defer to what the state agency or federal agency or licensing board interprets it as. That makes absolutely zero sense. Um, and a lot of people have been up in arms when the new decision came out and the new case is Loper Bright Enterprises versus Raimundo. Uh, and again, that was decided June 28th of 2024 and it overturned the Chevron Doctrine. And it basically says, well, we don't have to defer to state agencies or federal agencies or licensing boards interpretation of their rules and statutes. Because guess what? They're gonna interpret it in their favor every single time. So it really puts the power back into the judge's hands to do the judge's job. I don't know how Chevron doctrine got put in place uh, back in 1984 anyways. I, I know it was a bare quorum of the U.S. Supreme Court of only six judges. Maybe that had something to do with it. Um, so it really makes a lot more sense now with the Loper Bright Enterprises case that judges actually get to go back and interpret the law on a lot of these administrative law cases, both federally and, and statewide. So how that impacts uh, licensees in the state of North Carolina is there is an automatic right to appeal. We talked about this in one of the other videos where you can do a petition for judicial review and you'll be heard in superior court and you'll actually have a superior court judge review the record on appeal. And if there's any, any of uh, an enumerated appealable issues, uh, and those are still set out in the North Carolina General Statute 150B, you know, if there's anything in there that um, you know, is an uh, error as a matter of law, a uh, constitutional issue, and there's numbers of other ones, um, then the judge has a, a lot more freedom to interpret any rules or statutes that you know, may be ambiguous. They don't have to just defer back to what the state agency or licensing board says their interpretation is. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a precedent that needed to be overturned. It's something that was probably long overdue and, and it has been expected over the last couple of years, uh, at least in this state and probably uh, in a lot of other states throughout the country. So uh, I'm gonna drop the, that case in the, in the notes. So take a look at that. It's Loper Bright Enterprises versus Raimundo. Um, and, and again, it was uh, recently um, established on June 28th of 2024. So got any questions, uh, you can please check out the blogs on my website, that's northstatelawfirm.com. And then you can also check out the YouTube channel. Um, and if you still can't find what you're looking for there, 
give us a call at 919-521-8810. You can also text that number. Again, that's 919-521-8810. And we can get you set up with a free 15-minute discovery call with a member of my staff. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.